Hey everyone, I hope you are all doing well and in the last couple of months I had a few portrait sessions and I decided to include them all under a single video and I basically want to show you some of the images that I got on those shoots and share some of the footage that I filmed there as well. This first shoot was with Beatrice who I met a while back through Instagram and I drove up to Coimbra where she lives and we ended up shooting in a forest location where I'd been wanting to shoot for quite some time actually and these photos were all taken with Cinesteel 400D, 800T and Cantmi 100. They were all shot in 120 using my Bronica ETRS 645 camera. I've been wanting to shoot with Beatrice for quite some time actually and I was happy that we finally been able to shoot a few portraits with the 70s vibe and this is what Beatrice's style is all about. She's all about the 70s so... So this was my first time shooting portraits with 800T and actually my very first time shooting 400D as well which I must say did a great job in terms of color rendition on the model skin tones and the overall colors I think they just came out looking great. If you haven't shot Kent Miriam 120 I definitely recommend you to do so. Like, I think it's crazy how this film is considerably cheaper than other black and white options available out there in the market and you're still able to have such a nice balance in terms of sharpening and contrast in your images and this was actually my first time using it for portrait work and it definitely didn't disappoint as I think the look worked out great on this shoot. This next shoot was with Joanna, who I also met through Instagram and we shot at a random location that I found in Leiria, which actually turned out to be quite decent, considering that I'd never been there and found it through Google Maps and allowed us to do a quick sunset portrait session and when we got there I noticed there was like this lake that was created from an old quarry that was operating there and there was also this big pile of like car and motorcycle tires which immediately piqued my interest because I thought it might somehow work nicely if it was well incorporated in the shoot, so yeah. We only shot one roll of Portrait 800 as we didn't have much time left in the day and I think that we were still able to get some decent images and I think this was a very productive role in terms of keeper shots. So this last shoot is actually from a couple of days ago and it's with Siani, who you've seen on the channel before. I think I've already uploaded a couple of videos with her, but yeah, we like I had this idea of shooting by the beach. I don't know, some of you may know if you follow me on Instagram. I live right by the ocean, by the beach. And I've been wanting to shoot there since I've moved here basically. And this was like two years ago. So it was definitely long overdue. Um, this was also the only shoot that I shot in digital and I used my Fujifilm X-T4 and lens-wise I used the Viltrox, the 23mm 1.4 which I'm using to record this video right now and the Viltrox 56 1.4, so two prime lenses. Thank you. 
That's gonna be it for today. Uh, let me know in the comments which shoot was your favorite, which look was your favorite or film stock, or let me know if you've shot with any of these film stocks that I shot in this video. So, Cinestil 800T, 400D and Kentmere. I shot Kentmere 100, but let me know if you, had, if you actually shot Kentmere 400. I did. Uh, those images are gonna come out on a video that I'm currently working on and they are not portraits, they are landscapes, so I'll give you that. Uh, anyway, I'll see you in the next video, bye.